The next few videos involve an alternative approach to uh, updating records via the query results, edit record, cascading forms from the query edit tab. And these involve using the listing tab and the pane that has the list view that shows all the information about selected records. The first step is we need to drag a menu strip over to the pane that has the list view in it. And you can see the menu strip appears in the component tray at the bottom. And the first item we want to put in the menu strip is change selected. And then under that we want to put title scene location and genre and we want to give all these things meaningful names like uh, I'll expand this out a bit more uh, MS for menu strip and change selected and we probably ought to also put in uh, listing to let it know let ourselves know when we're writing the code that we're dealing with the listing page maybe I'll copy this put a D on selected and then for title say MSSI for menu strip sub item and then have listing change selected and title getting pretty long but it's clear where we're coming from when we look at it copy that and for this one essentially the same name but with the last prong being seen For this one, the same name, but the last prong being uh, location. And finally, the menu strip sub item for genre. Oops. And then we want to handle the event for this being selected at all. And I'm not sure what the default event is for that, but the event we really want to trap is click. So if I double click on click as an event, we get MS listing change selected underscore click. So we'll, as soon as that drop down gets expanded, this is going to be called. And essentially what we want to do with this code is get a list of the uh, record numbers of the DVDs that we selected from the list view. And we get those from the tag. And first of all I want to make sure that I actually put that tag value in. And by George we don't. <laughs> so we're going to have to add that code. We'll say LVI dot tag 
equals convert to n32 and the field we want to convert is the uh, DVD so we ought to just copy and paste that So, okay, now we have a tag value associated with every list view item uh, that has the uh, DVD ID number, which uniquely identifies that record. So, if we look back at our uh, code that gets called whenever we drop down that menu list, the, we have a local variable of record key and a local variable of edit list and we're not really going to look at what we do with the let edit list we're just going to look at how we get it in this video we'll look at what we do with it in the next video but the first thing I do is I look at the list view uh, selected items count and I say if that's less than one I just pop up a message box that says you have to select each item from the list because we're going to be dealing with updating the selected items and then I go through in a loop for every uh, list view item that is selected and get the record key from this tag value which we actually just put in like we just put in the code that inserts that and then I concatenate the uh, edit list item with that record number converted to string and followed by a comma and then finally we edit this uh, and just get a substring of it starting from the beginning and going to the length of the string minus one so this gets rid of the last comma we got commas separating all the values but we don't want the last value have a having a comma hanging out there and then for this video I'm just gonna pop up a message box that shows what the list of those uh, values were so if we uh, save this and compile and run it and go to the listing see we now have this listing item and if I just click on that I just get the message box that says you have to select at least one item from the list of course we don't even have a list so it's academic now and uh, if I click on all records and let's say select first one by clicking and then all the others by holding down control and clicking so I did what one two three four five records and now if we click on the uh, change selected it brings up our edit list which is 365 comma 509 comma 50 comma 316 comma and uh, 212 so we now have an accurate list of uh, record IDs for the records that we've selected from the list view. And the next video we're going to look at what we actually do with that list in order to update values. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.